which will install the DSS v6. You'll be presented with an agree option, and at this point, all you have to do is click on enter OK on the agree. Now you're going to be presented at this point is to select the USB flash stick or DOM to install the DSS v6. And keep in mind, this can also be a hard drive. Uh, it could be uh, a SSD drive, solid state, uh, a USB flash stick, what you're seeing here. If you notice, when you see the SDA underneath the device, that's where you hit the space bar to select that. And typically, your USB DOMs that OpenE provides, uh, or in the past we did, that you'll see it for 1027 megabytes. If you have another USB device or hard drive, then you'll see the size difference and then be able to install DSS v6 on that. Just make sure that you hit the space bar and select which one you want, SDA, SDB, it could be randomly, and then press the OK button. Now the next message you're going to receive is going to be the device con contains partitions uh, that will be removed. So what this means is that we're going to be formatting it, and we want to let you know that to make sure there's no data that is existing that you did not attend to uh, to install the DSS v6 to be at least be aware. And if you want to cancel back out to verify, you can. Uh, if you're confident that that is where you want to install DSS v6, then proceed to click on the OK button. OK. Now, at this point, you're getting ready to have the option to install with the 60-day trial version. Uh, or enter your product key. Now, you can, again, use the DSS v6 as a trial version. And once you install DSS a trial version, you can use it for up to 60 days. And if later, let's say on day 59, you wish to uh, purchase the product, then all you have to do is enter. Once you purchase the product, you receive a product key. And then you can enter your product key actually in the GUI. So then it'll reboot, and of course, DSSv6 is now licensed. And that's located in the GUI to help about add license. So at this point, we're going to enter the product key, and you'll get the option now to enter the product key. Now, the product keys that we provide is 28 characters, and it must be exact to finalize the installation. You'll see your product key in a form of this uh, via either email, from depending on how you purchased it, um, and then you want to enter it here. Once you enter it, then you'll be presented with the installation settings. This is just an overview to make sure that uh, the SDA device is where you want it, verifying that it's the installation boot media, and of course, the product key. And once you're done with that, you want to hit OK. And then the next step will show you the percent value of the DSS installing onto the media that you selected. And once it's complete, and it's going to check again for the consistencies of the files that are on your media that you installed DSS v6 on. Once that's complete, uh, followed, it'll state that its installation is successful. Now, let's say installation failed or it hung. It could be several reasons that maybe it, it, there was something wrong in uh, the system. Uh, try it again. Maybe use a different USB flash stick. Maybe something happened to the USB flash stick during that time. Uh, even though they, there are consistency checks that we do do, that sometimes things can happen. So try to reformat it, copy the files, make sure you use the MD5 checker. Uh, with the MD5 checker program to ver verify it and then run the installation again. And once the installation is successful, press OK, and then the next screen you're going to see is select reboot and then remove the USB flash after it reboots. This way then DSS will fully install and boot. And there's your reboot once it's done. And then once that's complete, DSS will come up and allow you to start to configure your volume, set up your IP addresses, and so forth. So now that's the completion of the DSS using the USB flash stick. Now we're going to go into how to install it on a 2 gigabit LUN that we're going to create from a volume from our RAID controller. Uh, for this purposes, we're going to use Intel RAID controller. It could be an LSI, it could be a 3-Ware, it could be a Rico or an Adaptic. 
So you want to boot into your, uh, after the post and to the server, you want to enter the controller's BIOS settings. And here you want to start off with selecting the RAID controller. And you want to click on the start. And here you'll see your drives. And they're all verified and configured and good to use. We want to select the configuration wizard. And now we want to be able to do new configuration. And click next. And of course, there's some that will provide you a statement that this is dangerous. Now at this point, we're going to do the manual configuration. So this way we can create our drive groups and virtual drives and then set our parameters. Now here are the three drives that we have that are available. We're going to select all three and we're going to add them to the array. So we we'll click on add to array and now we're going to accept the drive group. So now we have drive group one. And we're going to select next and we're going to add that span to the span volume area. And now we're able to create and start creating our array of arrays. Now before this, we're going to start with, for installing the DSS v6, we're going to use and select array 5, and then we're going to put place 2 gig. This is also noted in the quick start guide as well, because any more you're really not using. So you want to just keep it at 2 gig. Now let's go back, because now we want to add volumes. This way we're going to add it back into the span. We're going to click next. And we're going to create probably two volumes. This way shows flexibility that if you want to create more than one uh, volume, you can from any RAID controller. And we're just going to place just 150 gig. Of course, it could be in terabyte version. And now we've created another virtual drive. Now we have to go back to add again with the array free space. So we click add to span. And then, of course, then we go to next. And here for the next uh, virtual drive, then we'll create, just take the whole amount. And then we'll click Next. Now that we have our virtual drives, zero is going to be, we're going to save the configuration. Uh, the virtual drive zero is where the DSS v6 will be installed on. So to make sure, we want to make it in the first boot order. So we're going to set boot drive. And you see that it's currently set to none. But now we specify go. And here you see the change current equals zero. So the virtual drive zero will be now the boot drive media, and that way when the system reinstall DSSV6, it will be in the first boot order and load DSSV6. Okay, we save our configurations, and now we're going into the screen, and here you'll see that we have the uh, Memtas utility. We boot up the system. We have the USB flash stick installed, and we're booting off the USB flash stick. And here again, you're presented with the option, the same fashion as if you were installing, just like we talked about previously, if you want to install it on 32-bit mode or 64-bit mode. But here we're going to select the software installer because we're going to take the USB plastic that we've created that has the SSV6 that we did the boot install the EXE to make it bootable, and we're booting into it because we're going to install this DSSV6 onto the 2 gigabit volume that we created from the Intel RAID controller. And at this point, it loads. Uh, DSSV6 from the USB flash stick is loading up. Once it's complete, then it goes into checking the consistency files, same way as it did before. Now you have to select the agreement conditions. So it's pretty much it's, it's exactly the same way as if you're doing the um, USB to USB or USB to a hard drive or an SSD drive. So here we've created the 2 gigabit volume and we made our first boot order and of course here are other volumes so at this point we want to select the uh, SDA device we can select it up or down arrow up and you can use the tab key to maneuver and navigate and then press the OK button Now it's going to state again, all data will be removed, and press the OK button. And here we have, again, the option to install a 60-day trial version or enter your product key manually. 
So for this case, we're just going to enter the trial version. So now we have a difference. In the previous one where we did the USB to USB, we can enter the product key. But in this case, we're going to show just with the 60-day trial version. And we're going to select OK. Again, you can navigate through the tab key and then press Enter. Here you're seeing the, again, the installation settings review, tab over, or press the Enter button. Now the installation is proceeding, and it, this goes pretty, this goes really fast with the array controller. It's, it's faster to boot with the array controller than is USB. It's faster to install as well. Again, once we do that, we check for the consistency of files, and then the installation is complete. Now, again, once you're done, you click on the reboot and press the Enter key, and you want to be able to remove the USB flash stick that you use to install to the 2 gigabit volume. And once this reboots, it will load. Now the system's booting off the 2 gigabit volume, and it goes relatively quick. And now we are in our console screen. So here then allows you to go ahead and create your volumes, go into the GUI, change your IP address to access the GUI. So that pretty much wraps up on the installation of the DSS v6. And again, I want to go back into some of the areas that might be important to you. Uh, when you want to do downloads, you want to get some documentations, you click here and go to support, then downloads, and here you'll see the quick start guides. So then you can select for DSS v6, uh, installation upgrades DSS v6 to step by step, or you